we come back all of you nana here and then we are into the next day's program on this uh, product data hub implementation so rather uh, what i did is i lost that instance actually so i set up everything up to your deployment actually on another instance i'm not going to share it now but go share it. so i did one more thing and then i did the deployment up to deployment i completed in another instance actually so it is not deployed i click on okay so the deployment is now completed <laughs> so click on done and then go there now go and then continue on this now go there so i'm not going to do this so up to 108 step i have completed on this now we will not try to create an item before creating item what happens that we are going to go on and enable the governance and consolidation of this so we are going to go and then enable the governance and consolidation and go there so go to actions and then you go to the offerings and then let us know enable the governance and consolidation which is required for product data hub actually i will not go to the product fine i will not go to the product management i go to the product information management opt in futures and then i go there and then enable the governance and consolidation which is required for pdh so pdh will be working upon this now finally connect you will now enable the governance and consolidation of this product data hub now go to the opt in features of product management and then put a tick mark on the governance and consolidation and go down so data governance is already on and then what happens is your consolidation is also on fine so both of them are on actually so governance is on and then the consolidation is also on so somebody is already also working on the same pdh only fine is okay this on otherwise you switch it on fine enable it enable it and then go ahead now fine click on that nothing is there no problem now you will not try to go and then create an item so once when you try to create an item item will not be appear the root class will not appear at all fine click on it click on the home page and then i go to the product management i go to the product management and then i go to the product information management i click on it i will not go to the product information management and then let me try to create an item now <clears throat> click on it i'll not go and then create an item i click on create item so once when i create an item for my master org g71 fine the g71 the master org they go there and then try to create it what happens the root item class will not become it will drop down whatever nothing will be we make a search also nothing will be so click on search nothing is come <clears throat> i was scared as so the first activity which you do is what we have to give the function security and data security for both the master and child now fine right click and then duplicate we will now first of all give the function security and data security for the master org first of all i go there click on it so this is required on this one i click on the department maintenance and then go there go to the manage item class and then we will now give the fine click on it we will now go to the manage item class fine click on search now and then go there go to the manage item class manage percentage item percentage class percentage so go to the manage item class and then we will now provide function security and data security for the master fine go there i will now query for the g71 and then I click on search i will now choose my child now I will not choose my iFi laptop. My iFi laptop. I am choosing it. I click on it. So the first is the parent, and then this is the child actually. So we have already seen on this. Now I click on it. We will go on and have a look at it. <coughs> go there, and then here. In this one, I open up the Fusion Product Data Hub documentation. Open up the product hierarchy. So we have a two level hierarchy of attributes actually. One at the parent item class, the laptop level, we have a battery and graphics card, and then the child item, child item class. i3 i5 and i7 so i have configured everything on i5 and i5 we have a display color etc etc all this is done so we are now going to give a function security and data security at the child level now fine child level we are going to give it now fine notice so this much you are going to find so this item product there hierarchy i'm going to go go there so click on it i will now choose the higher point i5 if i click on okay so once when you give it it is already selected if you click on edit it will be coming as edit mode now fine click on it you can now say the g5 i7 i5 laptop is now coming in the edit mode now what i do is i am not going to go to the security and then i will not add the security now i click on security let us now add the function security first of all now i click on plus now point the function security of product data stored is going to be added okay is that product data stored now fine okay. give a tab so once when you give a tab what happens it will now shows lot of options for you okay. so i will not choose what this is a job job no fine okay. copy leave it now fine okay. so you are going to use the ora not the eg choose the ora and then click on okay <clears throat> And then you put your master org over here, fine. G seventy one zero, and then give a tab, and then give a save. At this stage, give a save. So the function security for G seven zero is not done. Fine, click on again. Fine. <laughs> it is now asking you confirmation. So accept the confirmation. Fine, go there. From this time onwards, it will be done. Fine. Yeah, yeah. What happens? The background process is going to run now. Fine, click on it. It's not running. Fine, click on it. Go there. Click on it. If the ESS job is running, fine, go down. And then at the bottom, we are going to give the data security. We are going to give the actions. Fine, actions. Actions is nothing but data security. And then you can now see your G seven one zero is chosen. Fine, go to actions. And then go to select and add. And then I am going to select all. Now. So click on search, and then I will be selecting everything. Now. Fine, all are selected. And then by the side of the actions, the left hand side, if you click on it, what happens? Every action is now selected. And we can even selectively also do it, but 
what happens is my students say that we don't do in such a fashion no, fine that much of a thing is not done so we will not give grant access to everything no, fine that is how they do it no, fine click on it so click on apply it is not getting applied now in the left hand side you know so click on it then click on okay no. so it is not done so both i click on it it's all done no, fine so click on save and close no, fine now the root and what happens you are now given what the rebuild process is now happening no, fine click on it we are now completed what the thing no, fine whenever you make a major change have a habit about logging out and logging in no, fine click on it now and then log out and log in <laughs> So click on it and then here, you know, sign out and sign in and then come inside. Sign out and sign in, fine, click on confirm and then come inside. Go there and then we'll not log in. Now, if you go and then try to create it, what happens? Your root item class will be coming. Fine, go to the product management and then you go to the product information management. Now, the root item class will appear. Fine, click on it, click on item, fine, click on it, click on create item. You're going to create it now. Fine, click on it. You're going to create it now. So go there, click on it. So the organization is what? G71 and then choose the R. Go there. And then the item class, if you drop down, you will not get the what happens you want. Fine. One the chi, we got it. Right? Click on it. You put it. And then what happens? We have already chosen the purchase. Remember, the purchase item template has been configured on the parent level. Now. At the parent level, you have configured it, but not at the child level now. So, but it will not get defaulted to the child level also. Even though the template has been configured at the parent level, fine, but it will not default onto the child level also. Fine, automatically. No defaulting it. Fine. Click on OK now. So click on OK and then go there. And then I'm going to what? Give a save now. Now I'm going to save it in the master no, fine. Now is, item is what sequence generated description is what your uh, uh, user defined actually fine. I will not say test one fine. and then give a save by saving it. What happens? It will not get saved no fine. It will be thousand as a start number fine. Over there it will be coming. G seventy one underscore thousand will be the number so that will be getting saved over here. So the item is now getting created in the master and now what happens? We are going to assign it to the child. But child assignment is not possible. You can say G7 underscore thousand is coming, but we cannot assign it to the child because what happens? We are not given the function security and data security for the child. You go to the associations and then we will not try to associate to the child. Right? Click on it. Now go there. So go to actions and then go to select NAT. And then we are going to give what? G71. And then enter it now. Fine. And then enter it. And then choose the child or fine. Select it and then click on apply and then click on done. It will not be done. It will not be possible at all. You don't have a permission. That is what it is saying. So permission is not there. That means what? The function security and data security are missing on this now. Fine, click on. What you do is we'll not go there. So click on okay now. Fine. I have not what happens. Go there. Right click and then duplicate. They go there. Always have a habit of right click and then making multiple tab regions and then work on it. We'll again go to the manage item class. Now fine, click on it. We'll go to the manage item class. <clears throat> we go to the setup and maintenance and then go to the manage item class. So you click on it. And then click on search. Now fine. We'll go to the manage item class. Manage percentage. Item percentage. Fine. Class person which can enter now. We will go to the manager class. We will not give it. And then query for the G71 now. G71. I am going to query. If I make a search now, fine. Click on it. I will not choose it. And the i5 laptop, fine. Click on okay now, fine. That gets selected. It will be there somewhere in the bottom. If you click on edit, automatically your G i5 laptop will be coming. Now I go to the security. And then I will now add the security for the child org. The function security and data security we are going to add now, fine. Click on plus now, fine. We will now add the function security and data, fine. It is a product data steward. Product data steward. And then give a tab. So once you give a tab, all the four will be coming. Choose the ORA now. Fine. ORA you have to choose now. Fine. Do not choose EGA. It will not work. It is, it is the one which is having highest power actually. So click on OK. And then give it now. Fine. Click on it. And then I will now put my child dog. Fine. G71 1. And then give a tab. And then give a save. So the function security for the child dog is given. Remember, the public is blank actually. Normally, uh, what if it is a tick mark, please remove the tick mark now. If it is a tick mark, that means what? Public is public is now bypassed. The securities are bypassed. But PDH team do not want to bypass at all. PDH team, when you're implementing it, they must have only a, a hyphen there, no? fine, or rather underscore there. It should not be a tick mark, remember. If it's coming as a tick mark, please remove it, no? fine. This is, what, this is the way you are doing, no? fine, it. because PDH do not want the security to be bypassed, actually. So select it, no? and then go there. In the actions, whatever they go there, and then go to select that. If you're swiping your credit card in US, what happens? It will not ask for the four-digit PIN at all. Fine. There, the security is bypassed, and that is dangerous, actually. My My... Uh, brother has lost his credit card. Somebody has stolen from his wallet, actually. And then within two hours' time, the card has been emptied. Fine. They made so much of a transaction, and then the whole what happens, your uh, whatever the limit, fine. the credit limit has been there. Everything has been uh, purchased, actually. So this way it works. Fine. This is a very difficult one. So it is uh, preferable to have a security, and then PDH team do not allow to bypass the security at all. It must be underscore. Fine. If it's a tick mark, please remove it. Now click on search. Go there. Click on search. It will be coming. And by the server design, you click on the select mode. It will all be getting selected. Then go there. Click on it. And then it will now click on apply. And then click on done. Click on OK. So by which what happens? The data security for the child org is also given. Now. Everything is now given. Fine. Go there. So give a save and close. Now fine. Click on save and close. And then always have, you know, rebuilding it again. Fine. Doesn't matter. 
அந்த ஃபங்க்ஷன் லெவல் அந்த டேட்டா செக்யூரிட்டி லெவல் ஒரு ஃபங்க்ஷன் கொண்டாடலாம் அண்ட் தென் அகைன் வாட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் ஹேவ் அ ஹேபிட் அபவுட் லாகிங் அவுட் அண்ட் லாகிங் தட் இஸ் தி பெஸ்ட் மெத்தட் சம் டைம்ஸ் இட் வர்க்ஸ் ஈவன் வித்வுட் லாகிங் அண்ட் லாகிங் அவுட் லாகிங் பட் இட் இஸ் பிரிஃபரபிள் டு லாக் அவுட் அண்ட் லாகிங் டு என்ஷூர் தட் தி चेंजेस விச் ஹேவ் மேட் இஸ் ஆல் கெட்டிங் ரிஃப்ளெக்டட் ஆன் தி சிஸ்டம் एक्चुअली ஆன் தி டிரான்சாக்ஷன் சிஸ்டம்ஸ் இங்க எல்லாம் கூட ஐ வில் நோ குட் தி வாட் குட் தி ப்ராடக்ட் மேனேஜ்மென்ட் அண்ட் தென் குட் தி ப்ராடக்ட் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் மேனேஜ்மென்ட் அண்ட் தென் ஐ வில் நோ குட் தி ப்ரௌஸ் ஐட்டम्स அண்ட் தென் கோரி தி ஐட்டம் ஃபைன் ஸ்டார்டிங் ஆன் ஜி செவன்டி ஃபைன் குட் தி ப்ரௌஸ் ஐட்டम्स அண்ட் தென் லெட் மீ கோரி தி ஜி செவன்டி ஒன் நோ வி ஆர் நோ கிரியேட் ஒன் ஐட்டம் ஃபைன் the g71 and then click on search now it will be coming it is there in the mass shop we will not try to assign it now it will be possible for us fine right? click on the hyperlink on the g71 underscore 100 now fine <clears throat> go there and then here what happens you go to the go to the associations and then here what happens you go there in the associations what happens you go there you go to actions and then go to self net this time it will not give any error at all because we have the function security and error security for both the master and child so select it and then go there so click on apply and then click on done now it will not give any error at all it will be coming fine this bottom is coming fine go that one i will not give a save and close by which whatever the item is now created in the master and then assigned to the child also with governance and consolidation enabled on the offerings actually thank you so we are not completed now this portion is now completed now fine go that one then go that so we are not completed till fine go that go that go that go that go that fine no problem so we are not done everything now fine and then yesterday we have completed the validation rules and then afterwards we are not done assignment rules as well as what happens we are done the description concatenation rules all the three things we have completed it now we are going to go for approvals now fine nir fine right? it's called uh, the new item request now we are going to begin today we are going to begin new item request so go there now we are going to configure the approvals now first of all you are going to begin with the automatic approval now we are going to begin with the automatic approval fine i will not go to the manage task configuration for supply chain management is the one fine go there so i will not take off it i will not go there configure the approvals now fine go there so click on it and then go there go to the setup and maintenance and then we are going to configure the approvals for the product that i have now approval is of a paramount importance in uh, pdh because if you are going to get an item somebody has to say yes so click on it so click on it and then go there click on search no fine click on search and then go there i will not paste this i will not paste it fine click on it manage boss configuration for supply chain management of the task fine so click on the hyperlink on the task now we will not go inside no fine click on it we will not go inside so we are going to make a search now fine click on search on what we had to search we had to search on new item request approval task that is the one Fine. You take a copy of the new item, new item request approval task and go there, and then paste it on the search area, and then give a go. There is a go icon. Do not enter now. Fine. So click on the go icon. It will be coming at the bottom. So click on the hyperlink of it now. Fine. Click on the hyperlink of it. Go there. Go there. So now what happens is there are so many ways of approval. There are so many ways of approval. We are going to begin with the automatic approval. Fine. Go there. So if you go to the assignees, what happens? You know, fine. So many ways of approval. So there are so many things are there. Fine. and then here also one thing is there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use only the fourth one actually the remaining or all live x is actually so first of all what i do is uh, i will not what happens i will not bring it to the edit mode of and click on edit mode and then let me bring it to the edit mode mm. now what happens when you bring it to the edit mode it is now giving a warning that start synchronization fine that means what this has to be synchronized with the transaction system and click on the start synchronization it will now keep on synchronizing it actually and click on start synchronization now what happens the synchronization is under process now fine it will now get ended automatically so you need not have to worry at all fine so it will be getting on the point so start synchronization is now running 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 so wait for some time and then if it is not still not going in what happens you leave it as such fine synchronization is not going to stop your activity actually go that you want and then what i do is you know getting synchronized and then uh, it now take around 5 to 10 minutes approximately fine hey, don't worry because we are not going to use it immediately it will also take around 5 minutes for us to complete the configuration actually and go that so you know start synchronization is now running running so the 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 goal goal icon is also running fine it doesn't matter let me close it and then again make a check now fine click on close it and then again go to the task now fine click on the task and then make a check of it now fine click on it now go that i will now paste it now fine click on it i will now paste whatever you taken fine click on the go icon and then click on the hyperlink it will now say on the top what happened the, the flux field synchronization is in progress that doesn't matter leave it we are already in the edit mode now fine we are in the edit mode fine go to the assign is now now what i have to do is i have to display all of the thing fine i have to disable everything this 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 everything so if you go to the first one the first one says what it is a parallel approval fine in the right hand side you can see it is a parallel approval i am not going to use it now fine and then what happens i will go there select it and then let me disable it now fine click on it i will not go there i will not go to the advanced i will not go to the advanced and then i will not disable it actually fine ignore the participant when you ignore it this will, the blue icon will go away now when you ignore it what happens it will be going away so click on the save icon the floppy disk is the same fine go there i will not give some comment and then click on okay and then you will not commit it now fine click on it and then go there and then click on what the data is now saved and then we had to commit it also fine save and commit is a must actually when you are working on the bpm business process management okay click on okay and both things are done now what happens you can now see that what happens the blue icon will go away on this now first of all 
this one. Similarly, what happens? I'm not going to use only the fourth one. The remaining I will not bypass. So fine. Go the next one is what? Next one is what? Is a, is a user defined a single upper work? I'm not going to use it. The next one is what? Again, is a parallel upper work. I'm going. And then the fourth one is also user defined a single upper work. Fine. Is a rule based single upper work. This is only I'm going to use it now. The remaining I'm not going to use it. So whichever you are not using it, please bypass it. Now fine. Click on it. And then go there. And then go to the advanced. And then go to the advanced. Ignore the participant. Fine. I is not in the edit mode, so I had to bring it to the edit mode. Fine. Bring it to the edit mode first of all. The left hand side top. And then go there, go to the other areas, and then go to the second one, and then go to the advanced, and then put a tick mark. If I put a tick mark, and then go there. So here, not done. If I go there, I will not give a save only. If I click on save, now. I'm not going to commit it. If I save only, if I go okay, no. then not done. Go there. So it's not done. You know, go to the other areas. If I click on other areas, I go there. Second one is not gone. Now, fine. We have to what happens? Do the commit also. Third one also, I let me ignore it. If I go to the advanced, and then let me ignore it. If I ignore the participant, if I go there. So click on save. Now. When you, when you commit, what happens? It will not go out of the edit mode. Click on it. And then the, the final one, the bottom, what happens if you go there? It is basically an additional approval. This is an additional approval. Fine. Optional approval. Fine. So the optional approval also I will not disable. Click on it. I will not go there. Click on it. I will not go to the advanced. And then bypass the ignore the participants and then click on it. Fine. Click on save. And then what happens? I'll go there. So click on OK. <laughs> and then go there. And then what happens? There's no default. Okay. You go there. So the optional approval is also default. Now let me commit it. Once when you commit it, what happens? Is this 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 will go away now. If I click on the commit, so once when I commit it, what happens? All the three all the three will go away now. I click on it. will all go away now. You know that? So I'll again come to the assignment stuff. I can see that only one is enabled actually. Saving will not save. The committing is going to what happens? Basically a deployment sort of thing. This is the one which I'm going to use now. Fine. I will not select it, and then I will not bring it to the edit mode now. Fine. Click on the edit mode. Here, what happens? I'm going to bring it to the edit. So we are going to begin ourselves with a what happens an automatic approval. Now, if I click on it, you must be doing it very properly to exactly as I am doing now. Otherwise, what happens? You will be landing in a problem. If I click on the assign this now. It is now in edit mode. Fine, I will go to the assign this now. This is the one I am going to do it now. If I click on, I will choose it and go there. This one, you have a business rule, and then don't click on the edit icon. Click on the hyperlink on the business rule now. Fine, do not click on the edit icon. So click on the hyperlink on the business rule. It will not go into that now. If I click on it. And then so many people might have written so many rules. Let us now de deactivate everything. And then I will now write only our rule actually. Because many people are sitting is fine. So many people are now sitting so many things. So what I'll do is I will not go to the first one. I will not right and say you go to the property and then deactivate it. Then remove the active rules. Fine, click on it. So that what happens, you don't fire at all point. Fine, go there, click on it. So somebody is now creating it. Fine, go, there. So go to the properties and then I will not remove the activeness. Because since it is a test instance, so many people are testing it actually. And then go to the third one. We do it fast, otherwise, whatever somebody will not deactivate yours actually. <laughs> there is a problem now. Fine, click on it. And then go there. Click on OK. Now, fine, go there. Click on it. And then go there. The fourth one, I'm going there. Fine, click on the properties and then let me deactivate it. It is already deactivated. Fine, go there. Go on. No, no, somebody is not doing it. Fine, go on. The one, two, three, four. The fifth one, what happens? You go there. I will not go to the properties. Now, fine, click on the properties and go there. I will not remove the activeness. Click on OK now. <laughs> so that it doesn't fire at all. Fine, go there. Click on it plus. The next one, fine, go to the I will not go to the what? You go there, go to the properties, and then let us not deactivate it. So, you know, deactivate it, fine, click on okay, no, fine, done. I don't go there. The final one, I'm going there, fine, click on it. The final one, I go there, and then click on what properties, and then deactivate it. So, now everything is not deactivated. Now, we are not going to create a rule, no, fine, click on it. So, click on plus, and then we'll not click on simple rule, fine, general rule, fine, go there, make a general rule. So, the rule name is coming, it's coming as rule one, actually. Then what happens? We must have a if then if and then. So if I am going to bypass it by doing one is to one, I click on plus and then make a simple test and then make one is one. So if you say one here and then one is one, then that means what it is bypassed. Actually. One is one is means what it is always true. There is no if condition at all if you are writing one is to one. Now what happens? Watch my sheet and then exactly do. Fine. If you make a mistake, you will not do it properly at all. Fine. In the assignment, we are not disable everything except the first one, not the first actually, for the fourth one. Fine. And then choose another business rule. Like so what happens? Delete all the existing one. So or another, this is on the inside mode. Now, fine, the if is one, one is that. Then in the end condition, what happens? You are going to add approval. Now. We are going to add approval called supervisor. Now, fine, you know, go there. In the bottom, what happens? You click on it. And then in the bottom, you will be having one. What happens? Add approval. Now. Go down, go down, go down. In the bottom, you will be getting one. Add approval. Now. So click on the add approval as a supervisory. Fine. The supervisory is the one which is for automatic approval. Remember, fine. The supervisory is for automatic approval. Fine. Click on the supervisory. Now. So click on the supervisor. And then exactly follow my sheet actually. In the supervisor, I'm doing it. Fine. So number of levels is one actually. Number of levels is one. Fine. Go there. I will not go and then put number of levels is one. No. Fine. Number of levels is one. The starting part is the exactly take a copy and do it. Even if you make a single single mistake also, it will not work at all. Go there. Click on it. And then this has been given by my students actually. So you must know how to do all these things. I mean, BPM, 
you must be knowing very clearly. Fine. You have to have ADF knowledge also. Fine. There are so many things that are required. I will not click on it. I will not take a copy of it and then go there. I will not put it. So the starting part of the one, I'm exactly pasting it up and no extra space. Remember. The top part of the one is also want to go there. I will not take the exact top part of the one. Fine. Go there. So take copy of it and then go there and then do it. This is on the workflow area. What happens? It will be doing it. Fine. Click on it. No coming. Fine. Go there. Go down now. So now auto action enabled. We'll not go on and see what is written there. Fine. Auto action. Fine. Auto action is true now, actually. Fine. Capital T. Fine. Go there. So I'll make it as what? Drop it down and then true. Now. And true. And then go there. After auto action is enabled, and auto action is what? Within double quote approved. Now Don't go there. Within double quote, it is approved. Fine. Action is what? Within double quotes, so you have to make it as approved. Double quote. Fine. A P P R O V E all in caps actually. Fine. Within double quotes. The rule name is also coming double quotes. It is automatically picked up. That is what it is. Fine. So everything has been set actually. So once when done, you have to validate. Fine. We have to validate. Is that whatever you have written, it will not check only for the syntax and not for the logic. Remember. So validation is going to only check the syntax actually. So, so we are going to check the syntax now. Fine. Go there. So if you go up, go up. There is a validate button. Fine. Click on the validate. Right and say top. We will be having a validate button. It will not check only the syntax error. Fine. Go there. In the bottom, whatever you can see that no validation errors are found. These have been perfectly long. So this is for the auto approval. And then uh, in the next class, we are going to see about how to do by approval group. Now, fine. Approval group also we can very well. Prepare. We will be doing it in the next class actually, not today. Fine. Today is only for automatic approval. And then exactly follow. And then if you have got different different ways, and then talk to the technical team, they will now give you all these values. Now, fine. They will now pick up the workflow values, everything. Otherwise, you must be knowing the ADF. ADF is very very tough actually. Fine. For that. So if you so it is still in progress, it doesn't matter. Fine. So we will now save and commit also. Fine. Click on save and then commit also. Save. And then give a pass. Right? Click on OK. And then click on commit. Right? Click on it. And then click on commit. Right? The third one is what commit. Right? Click on commit. And then I'm going to commit it. Right? Click on commit. So this is now completed. So the automatic approval for our what happens? Our uh, rule based approval is not done now. Right? Click on it. It's all done. If you go to the assignees, what happens? You can all see this now. Right? Click on it. You go there. So this is the one. This is the only one enabled. Fine. Choose it. And then have a look at it. Right? Click on it. In the bottom, if you click on it, what happens? You can very well see it actually. Mm -hmm. Go there. And then keep your cursor on the rule one. And then rule one is ours actually. Is all shown here. It's all done now. Fine. So the activity of setting up the approval is very complete now. Fine. The flux field synchronization is progress. It doesn't matter. Leave it as it After some time, it will be getting complete now. So we are now completed the set of approvals. Now, what happens? You go there. This activity is now complete. Now, in the 150 second step, we are now going to what? We are now going to uh, choose our workflow type actually. So go there. Manage item, new item request type. No, fine. Take a copy of it. We'll now go there. This is the task name. Fine. Go there. I will now paste this task name. Paste it and then click on it. Fine. Manage new item request type. Fine. Go there. Click on the hyperlink of the manage new item request type. Fine. Go there. Click on it. You are going inside. You are going inside. You want. And then go there. So here, what happens uh, before which what happens? Uh, we have to have three approvals in place actually. And go right click. We had to create three approvals. Fine. Click on duplicate. We had to create three persons. We will be needing it in the next classes basically. Fine. Go there. So let us now go there and then create the users actually. Fine. Go to the setup and maintenance. And then let me create the new users which are required for approvals actually. On the further one. Fine. Click on it. So click on search. No, fine. Go there. I will not go to the manage users. <clears throat> we need it for other exercises basically. Today we need only one, but uh, tomorrow also, what happens? We will be needing many. You know, fine, click on the users. I will locate three users actually. Fine, go there. Click on person. So I am now working on G71 underscore EMP1. EMP2, EMP3, EMP4. I am going to create now. Fine, EMP2. Fine, go there. It is G71 underscore. Hmm. Today, since it is an automatic approval, you are going to use only one now. Fine, go there. So G71 underscore EMP2. Fine. And then the Gmail, fine. At the rate gmail.com. And then the username is what? G71 underscore <clears throat> EMP1. Fine. What else? Go there. Go down. And we are working on the vision structure actually. Fine. So we already shown you that what happens if we are working on the vision structure. So go there. So you must remember the vision structure actually. Fine. Go back one level and then go to the additional docs records four and open it up. And then open up the third one vision interface structure. Fine. So we are now testing the entire thing on this now. Fine. With our own master and then with our own child actually. Fine. But in reality, we cannot create our own master and child. But uh, only for testing purposes of PDH, we can very well do it. But we are not going to push any data into the financials and so we can very well do it. Now, fine. We are stopping after creating all the activities on PDH. So our own master and child. But the financial entity is the same. Common for everybody. Now, fine. What else? We'll go there. Go there. Go there. Go there. We'll go there. So here, what happens? The person type is employee. And then we are now working on the US one. What happens? If you go there, what is the legal employee? And go there. You go and see. Is the US one legal entity and then US one business unit. Now, fine. So the financial entity is the same for everybody actually. Fine, go there. So go there. the US one, <clears throat> we are working below that only. Fine, go there. Click on it. Choose one. He is a legal employee who is one the owner of the employee actually. Business unit is what? You go there, US one, and then give US one. And then give some job. Doesn't matter. In reality, what happens in procurement, we will be seeing everything about this job. 
and then the department location etc fine go there so this much is sufficient now fine go there click on it click on save and close so the second employee is now created similarly what happens you will know the third and fourth employee the username already exist but it's associated with another person or party now fine go there so g71 underscore emp2 oh god ah uh, somebody is creating it along with me now i don't know what to do now fine click on it so uh, i will not say two two no fine i'm not making it as a two two no fine maybe two two and the last name here, I will not say is what, rather not one. I, here I made a mistake actually. It is not one actually, it is two actually. I have to make it as two. No, fine, close. This is a mistake actually. GMP, G71 underscore EMP2. Fine, click on save and close now. So EMP1 is already created. You have to make it as what? EMP2. Fine, there is a mistake. This is my mistake actually. It doesn't matter. So EMP2, fine, go there. So the second user is now created. The third and fourth user, we are going to use it in the successive classes basically. We will be using what? An approval group also. Fine. And then we will be using what was a definition place where we are going to enrich the item attributes actually on the PDH. So we'll be using different users actually. So for this, what happens? And click on plus now, find the third user I'm going to create. Find the, the third user find it's going to be EMP3. EMP3, go there. The G71 underscore, the email is what? G71 underscore EMP3 at the rate gmail.com. Gmail.com, I'm going to it. And then go there. Then go now. And then the person type is what employee. So let me get the employee. And then here again, what happens? You will be having US one. Fine. US one. And then choose the legal employee. Fine. The business unit is what US one. Business unit. Fine. Job is what HR. <clears throat> HR. Fine. It's sufficient. Fine. Click on save and close. By which what happens? The third employee is now created. Okay. We have our date. Okay. So what happens? The hiring date. I will not put the today's date. Now fine. Click on it. So the date. So go there. Click on save and close. <clears throat> So the third employee is now created. We'll now get the final employee. Fourth employee also will be created. So click on plus now find and now get the fourth employee. Actually. It's an EMP4 now find EMP4. This is what we are going to use it in this training actually. Find G71 underscore. Two and three will be using it later actually. So G71 underscore EMP4. I'm going to use it now find uh, gmail.com. So the username is what? G71 underscore EMP4. So if the person type is employee, and then here go there, and I'll say US1, and then choose the legal employee, and I'll find business unit is what? US1, and then choose the business unit. And the job is a chart. Now what happens, I give a save and close. Now what I'm going to do is I will be, what happens, we're giving the powers, no, fine? the roles we had to give up. There are three roles which are required now. I know what the manager will give So click on what happens, you go there. I will not, what happens, give a cancel now. I click on cancel. I will not go to the security console and then do it. Now, I go to the click on it. I will not go to the security console. Now, click on it. I will not go to the tools. And then I will not go to the tools and then go to the security console now. There, I'm not going to give the rules for the fourth employee, which I'm going to use it today. The remaining will be using it later. Now, I click on the rules and then go to the security console. And then for the fourth employee, I will not give the rules. Now, I click on the go to the users. Now, I click on the users. So, click on the users. And let us now query the users. Now. So, go there. G71 is the one kind entry now. So the fourth employee I'm going to use it. Right? Click on the fourth employee. So first of all, let me reset the password for this one. Right? Click, on it. Click on the reset password. So we are now going to reset the password actually. So the password is now getting reset actually. Right? Click on it. And then we'll now add three rows now. Actually. So you're not going to right? click on it. Now we'll now add three rows. Because he is now going to give a permission to what happens to approve it actually. Right? Click on add rows. We are going to give a permission. Right? So first is what employee. So employee is the role, fine, click on it. I'll not give the role, fine, click on it. And the next is what? Product data steward. Product data steward. Product data steward, Vora. I know that. So click on it. And the next one is product manager. So go there. I will not give product manager role also. So this much is sufficient for us to begin with. Now, fine, click on it. So product manager. So I go there. Product manager. This is the one now. Fine, Vora. I'm choosing it now, fine, click on it. So I'm not giving it. So he is not going to permit you to create an item actually before you go for approval. Here, remember, approval is automatic. And then this guy, EMP4, is now going to permit you to do it now. If I click on save and close, no, it's not done. So the password is also reset. Fine. Everything is not done now. So each and everything has been done now. If I click on it. <laughs> so go there. Now it's now saved actually. Fine. The employee is now saved. You now go there. Now have a look at it. So now it is done now. Fine. So now what happens? I will now go to the manage new item request type now. Fine. The manager, I will not go to the manager new request type. I will not go to this place. So go there. So it is now still saving. Fine. Click on done and then come on. Again. And then go there. I will now go to the setup and maintenance and then I will now execute this task. 
click on it and then here automatically go there. Go to the search, you know, if I click on the search and then automatically go there and then paste you, right, click on it. Manage your email, so you can click on it. Go there. Now, what happens? It will be effective immediately. The default assigning is the fourth employee. Fine, go there. Here, the username. You put the employee name, last name, comma, space, first name. Here is the username, whatever, I will not put G71, the fourth employee I'm going to say. So the fourth employee is now going to give a permission now, fine, what else? To permission to create an item, actually. This is my. So once when you give a permission, then what happens? Uh, uh, it will be getting, it will be submitted for approval, and then the approval is already automatic, and then it will be getting approved. So go there. So I will now give a starting number of, let's say, 100 now, fine, 100, fine. So the prefix is NIR, 100, NIR underscore, I will now say, is 100. Now. Increment by 10. And 10, 10 will now increment of 10. Suffix, I think, is fine. With that. So this guy is now going to permit you, actually. Fine with that. Permit you. Fine with that. So it will be effective immediately once when the approval is done. Now, if I click on the workflow. If I go to the workflow. So in the workflow, what I'm going to do is what? Skip request. I will not skip it now. If I don't skip it, if I remove it, what happens? It will not go to him for what happens? Uh, concurrence, whether I can create this item or not. Right? Some companies will now have one assignee who will be allowing you to create it, actually. He will now look at your NIR. And then new item request, and then he will now say, okay, you can go ahead, obviously. And then once when he does it, what happens? The definition is basically uh, it's called, it's called attribute enrichment, actually. So this will be seeing it tomorrow. Fine. Now, what happens? I will now bypass it. From open, it will not go to the definition. It will now go to the approval straight away. Fine. Drop it down. I will now bring it to the approval. So he is now giving a warning. It doesn't matter. Fine. Now, what happens? Definition is not, definition is now bypassed, actually. So attribute enrichment is bypassed. Tomorrow, we are going to introduce it and then see it now. Fine. Click on, okay, now. It is not going to approval. It is not skipped. And so what happens once when a new item is now created by the G71 EMP1, it will now go to EMP4 for what happens the concurrence before it is going to submit it for approval. Approval is automatic now. It will not go to the approval now. If I click on approval, at the bottom what happens, you can now see what, how it has been configured now. If I click on it. So here, what happens the rule based one. The second one is a user defined. Fine. It is an optional approval. So we already disabled the optional approval in our BPM actually. Optional approval has been defined. So approval is now is basically rule based and then give on one. Fine. That is not done. So now, what happens, once when the G71 EMP1 is not going to submit it, it will not go to EMP4 for his concurrence, and then when he says, yes, then what happens, it will be submitted for approval, and then approval is automatic, and then what happens, it gets completed again. So click on save and close. So my new item request type has been defined fully now. So click on save and close. No completed. So we are not completed. New item request type now. Click on. So is what is changes to the new item request type will be applied only to the prospective one, and not retrospective actually. Will not be applied to the existing NIR now. Existing NIR will not be modified by this now, fine. Only the new NIR is fine. It is prospective and it is not retrospective, fine. The new one only will be affected. The old one already gone is gone now, fine. It's already going on. It will be going on now. Click on. So having done this, what happens? You go there. You know what I mean? So we are right. Fine, go there. So everything is done. Fine, so is what. Now we have to enable the new item request in the item class also. In the item class. After having set up all these things, now fine, go there. <sighs> On approval rule based one, fine. Whether additional notes required, these things we are not done. Fine. So, on the approval rule based one, we are done it now. Watch. Now, what happens? We have to enable the what the item class now. Fine. Go that one. You know, go to the place and then you go to the manage item class. Fine. Click on it. You will now enable the new item request. Fine. Click on search now. Fine. Go that. I will now go to what manage okay, manage personage item class. So, you go to the manage item class and then here click on the hyperlink on the manage item class and then here I will now query for the G71. Now, fine. Click on G71. I'm going to query it. I click on query. And then here, I will now choose my child now. The G71 IFA laptop. Fine. Click on OK. Fine. There's no doubt. Now, what happens if you click on edit now? Fine. Already gone highlighted on this now. Fine. Appropriate. It's already highlighted. If you go to the top and then become, what happens? I click on edit now. Fine. So in this place, what happens? You go to the item management now. Fine. Now, what happens? It is now on the child level. It will be inherited only. Fine. It's not inherited. Fine. Go to the enable new AR now. And remember, once when you enable the NIR, afterwards the removal is very difficult because if some NIRs are under approvals or some process is there, then it will not allow you to remove the NIR at all. So you think, think and then do it whether you need a approval by somebody or not. In our case, what happens? EMP4 is the person who is going to grant permission to what happens to create the item, and then afterwards approval is automatic. Fine. There may be different different combinations which you'll be seeing later on. Fine. So now the EMP4 is only going to grant the permission to for you to approve now, fine, with a, what happens the comment actually. Fine, what else? So go there. So I'm gonna make it fine. Go there. So click on save and close by which what happens we have enabled the NIR on the item class actually. Or I say laptop. Fine, click on save and close now. It is not done. So after after having done all these setups, what happens? You always give a save and close now. Fine. They log out and log in. Fine. So go there. And then what happens? You go there. You know what I mean. So go to action now. Fine. Go so go to space fine. Go there. <clears throat> now what happens? And then create a new item request. The phone 51, what happens? I'm not going to make a new request, then I'm going to submit it. So for which what happens? You know, first of all, log out and login. If I click on that, we'll now go to log out and login and then login. If I click on it, we'll now log in. 
So sign out and sign in and then log in the, again. Fine. So that what happens. The changes you have made will be definitely be communicated to the transaction systems. Sometimes it may not be required, but it is preferable to whatever when after setups, whatever you have a habit of what, logging out and logging in and then coming in and then do it. Now, what I'm going to do is I will not go there. I will not go to the product management and then I go to the product information management and then let us now create a new item for this now. Now, it will be having a submit button to approve. Previously, what happened? There was no submit button, but since it has been enabled, fine, go there, come on. I will not go to the create dump. I click on create dump. So click on the create dump. Fine, go there. So click on create dump and go there. And then go there. And then choose your G71. Now, fine, G71. I'm choosing it. Now, fine. now the item class will be coming. Fine, go there. So my iFi laptop will be coming. and drop it down. I will not choose my item. The, uh, the template is coming. Fine, click on OK now. So click on OK. Now, what happens? You cannot see. Yeah, what happens? Yeah, submit button will be there in the top. Yeah, submit button is coming. Fine. I will not give a description. Fine, go there. So the moment I submit it, whatever the NAR gets triggered, actually, and NAR will be getting triggered, actually. Right? When you click on that, whatever submit, the NAR will be getting triggered, actually. Then click on submit. The new item request, the job will be triggered. Then click on submit. Now you can see the NAR is going to be triggered, actually. So the NAR gets triggered, actually. Then click on it with whatever this one. Fine. The master of fine. Create a new item request there. Fine. So new item. Then click on next now. You can even add to the existing. You know, I'm not creating a new item request. Then click on next now. And the NAR is getting triggered. Then click on next now. We go to the next step now. In the next step, we are going to say different things. Now, fine, click on it. I'm not saying. So, what happens? I will not give a name also. I will not say what happens. Uh, NAR right, first. And then I will not give a name. So, here the number will be 100. Now, fine. NAR 100 will be the number. Fine, click on description. Paste it. Now, the medium was that. The one. So, it will be assigned to this employee for giving a power up as a grant now. It is requested by EMP1. It will not go to EMP4. He will not say whether we can create this item or not. Fine. That itself is required, actually. This is what so click on it, click on that. So go there, and then go there, click on it. And then here, what about, you have multiple things, go there. so what about, it'll not give a save and edit, no, fine, click on save and edit. So it'll not go to him for granting permission to create an item, but approval is automatic, remember. Fine, click on save and edit, and go there, we'll not go to the next step. This is item, this is item, I go there. This, is the, this is the item class, actually, and go there. So go there. This is the description which you have manually written actually. The item is number is not yet coming because only when it is uh, completed, what happens? The item number is fully coming for the dollars. The NIR is coming for the ground. Everything is there, frankly, on it. And then go there. You can now watch everything. Now. <clears throat> we can even override the what happens, uh, the dates actually. We can even date. Effective date can be changed. But now we are given the effective date as immediate. Fine. If you want to change, you can change it now. Fine. The item class is coming. Everything is coming. Go there. And then what happens? You go to the log, action log. Then click on action log. So as of now, what happens? Uh, nothing has happened. It's not created away. Fine. So we are not going to submit it. Fine. It is the NIR 100 is the one. Of G710, fine. The new item request is not. If I click on submit, by which order the item request will be submitted. Fine, click on submit, it will be submitted. It will not go to EMP4. Fine, it will not go to EMP4. It will not submit it. Now, we will not monitor the activity. Now, fine, click on it. It will not submit it. Fine, click on it. So, go to the, we will not go to the governance. Fine, you go to the data governance and then go to the manage new item request. So, you are going to monitor this NAR now. Fine, click on it. You click on the manage new item request. Fine, go there. We are going to monitor it now. So, the number starts with what? NAR, fine, underscore 100. And then make a search. No, fine, click on search. You'll be coming. Click, click on search. You'll be coming. So here, what happens? You always assign to some. So you know, remove all other fields. It's not assigned to EMP1. It's assigned to EMP1. It's okay. Status is what I will not make it as a null. No, fine, click on it. I will not make it as a null. No, fine, click on search. So only NAR number is sufficient. Fine, you got the number. No. So click on the hyperlink on the NAR number. Fine, click on the hyperlink on the NAR number. It will not open up. It will not open up. Fine, go there. Click on it. You know, game to see. No, fine, everything. Whatever you have seen, everything is there. I will not go to what details. Click on the details. It will not show you what the details. No, fine, click on it. Now, what happens? You cannot see that. What happens? Everything is now ready, actually. Fine. All the allow updates, fine. Each and everything, fine. It can be open and then definition, approval, schedule, and then completed. Everything is enabled, actually. But the workflow is now in the first place only. You know, it's still open only. Fine. All of them are enabled, actually. But the definition has been bypassed, remember? After open, it will be going to approval directly. Even though it is now showing us the allow, all these things are all fine. The workflow is in this stage. Fine. If you go to the action law, fine. Click on action law. You know what happens if you click on what happens? It has been submitted not for approval, but it has been sent to EMP4 for concurrence, actually. Not submitted for approval. So now EMP4 has to say that okay, we can go ahead and then create the item actually. He has to give a comment actually. He has to give a comment. So, so what I will do is I will not take a copy of it and then I will not log in as EMP4. Go to the place and go there. So click on it. I will not go there. I will not take a copy of it. Come and go there. And then what happens? He has to say that you can go ahead and then create what you go ahead. So it if required only, what happens? We'll be sending it. Otherwise, what happens? We will you can even bypass EMP4 also while approval. If you repass it, what happens? Upon submission, it will be getting submitted for approval, and then it will be getting approved, and then it will be getting completed also. So the details, what happens? The completion is the log phase. Right? So completed is the last phase, and then what happens? It will be getting completed. So now what happens? They're going for I will now open up my edge browser and then I will now log in as what EMP4 actually. I will not go there. Click on it. I will not go to the Edge browser. And then let me log in as EMP4 now. We are going to log in as EMP4. It takes some time for the system to what happens, uh, propagate the approval process actually. If I go there. 
So it's a G71 underscore EMP4. And then I will not give the password now. And then we will not log in now. He is the person. He is the person who is now going to give a permission to create this item actually. And remember, the approval is automatic. Well, not tomorrow afterwards, we will not see. But the approval is going to be with the approval group. Fine. There will be employees who will be approving it one after the other actually. So there are so many methods, job methods, so position method. There are so many methods, whichever you feel like you can do it now. Now click on the bell icon. Now, fine. Click on the bell icon. Now see whether any notifications come to you or not. Click on the bell notification will be coming. So action required, new item request requires comment to continue. So this guy has to give a comment actually. Sometimes what happens, it doesn't come. There's no assign, fine. New item request has been assigned. And then he is, his action is required actually. So sometimes if it doesn't come, what happens is you go to the left hand side, fine. If the bell icon is not showing you this, no, fine. Action required. So he otherwise he give a comment, what happens, it will not go at all. It needs a comment, fine. It needs a comment to continue action. Or if it is not coming on the bell icon, what happens? You go to the left hand side, click on the what happens, the navigator icon, fine. Go there. I will not go to the tools and then go to the approach. Fine. This is another way. If the bell icon here, it will definitely become sometimes what happens, the bell icon will not showing, fine. Click on the approach. So click on the approach. So here you go there. So one of them, what happens, you go to it. Now go there. So now uh, we could not fetch any matches basically. Fine. Go there. <coughs> it will not take some time actually. It is not coming. So there is even no refresh icon. No fine. Click on it. This is the okay. Fine. I will not click on this, no, I click on it. And again, go there, no, fine, go to the tools. And then you go to the approvals, no, fine, click on the approvals. See, it has will not find any matches, fine, don't have anything, no, fine, no. So click on it, and we have entering, no, fine, blank entering it. Oh, God, <clears throat> it's not showing me anything at all. Okay, now at least what happens in this place, it's not taking some time. But in the bell icon, it is already come, fine, click on the bell icon. I click on the bell icon. And then here, what happens, new item request, request comment, actually. So EMP4 has to give a comment actually. Only when he gives a comment, what happens? It will go ahead now. Fine, click on it. Now go there. Click on it. And then we're going to give a comment actually. So here, what happens? It expects a comment actually. Fine. He will not say, here there is a NIR there. He will not click on the new item request and then have a look at it. Now. Fine, click on the new item request. Fine, click on it. You will not see what exactly he needs a comment actually. You will not have a look at the entire item is getting created actually. You will not have a look at it. So the EMP4 is not going to give it. Fine, go there. What is fine? Go there. All these things are coming. This item is now creating it. Fine, go there. So if you click on the item, it will not show you the attributes also. It will not click on it. It will not show you the attributes which he is now using it actually. Fine, click on it. It will not show the attributes of the item also. It will not show the attribute also. So you will not have a look at it. Fine, click on it. This is the attribute now. Fine, go to the specifications and you have a look at it. So you will not see everything now. Fine. So we have what happens your parent item class, the laptop as a general specs category. So you would have given these values now. Fine, the battery life and then the graphics. And then in the child one, what happens? We got six different things. Now, fine, click on it. And then he might have given some supply also. Fine, go that corner. So some of them might have given it. Fine. So whatever is there, fine. You will not have a look at it. Fine. Look at each and every attribute. Now, fine, click on it. And then finally, you will not say, okay, you can go ahead and then create it. So the new item request is in progress. The one, fine, go that. I will not give a cancel one. So after seeing the NIR hundred, so what happens? You know, going to go give a comment actually. You know, going to give a comment. So I will not give a cancel. My friend, come to the main area. Fine, click on it. So click on it. Cancel it. So I will again click on the what happens. You are just saying, no, fine, click on it. I will not click on the what that is already gone. No, fine. If the comment is not recorded, actually, fine, click on it. The comment has to be gone. No, fine, click on it. I will not go to the approvals. No, fine, click on the approvals and see whether we can give the comment or not. You have not seen it and then give a cancellation only. Fine, go there. You have not reached anything at all. Oh, God. So he has to give a comment, actually. Fine, go there. So Oracle Vision automatically fine, go there. search for it. No, fine, click on search. Show all. No, fine, click on show all. All the notifications I want to see. No, fine, click on the show all. So this is the only thing which is there. No, fine, ah, notification no, fine. I don't know they dismissed. No, it's not coming. So that notification is gone actually. Fine, go there. Click on back. No, fine, click on back. Oh God, we had to approve it actually. Fine, go there. So maybe in one go here. So approval status and history. No, fine, click on the approval status and history. We'll not see whether anything. Fine, nothing is there actually. Mm -hmm. Now click on the icon. No, fine, click on it. Notification application automatically generated password. No, fine, go there. No need for FYA information. Fine, it doesn't matter. I can leave it. No, fine, go on. No, log out and log in and then come back here. No, fine, go on. We are not taking any action. No, fine, click on sign out. <coughs> so click on sign out. Come back to it. So he has to give a comment and then afterwards, what happens? He has to give approval. No, fine, go on. That is the way you are doing. No, fine, go on. If that is not done, what happens? It will be not accepting it actually. I don't know. I don't know why it has gone now. In this place, at least it has to come. No, fine, also it's not coming. So go there. Click on it. You don't have any pending notification actually. Friend, show all is also not going to fit. He has only given a cancel actually, not given anything. Now, click on it. So, click on it. He has to give a consent actually. Friend, click on the approvals also. Whatever, I'm not able to see any approvals at all. The approvals that has to show now. Click on it. Not showing anything at all. Approval status and history now. Click on it. Nothing is there actually. Mm -hmm. 
I will not log out and log in and then again come back. Now, if I click on the sign out and sign in. So I want to show you, but by this process, what happens? I made a mistake. Now, if I click on it without giving any comment, I have not come out of it. I thought the notification will be there now. Click on it. And no notification. If I click on show all, it is not coming. Click on it. Now, if I go to it. And then go to the tools. Now, if I go to the tools and then go to the uploads. Click on uploads. Now we'll not come back to our system and then see now if I click on it. No go there. We'll not come back here now if I click on it. And then I will not give a cancel and then make a suggestion. Right? Not submit for approval. Click on cancel. We'll see what it actually is given. Click on cancel. And then you know what I'm make a search. Now if I click on search. And then I click on the hyperlink of it. Now if I click on it. And then go there. I will not go to the details of it. Now if I click on details. Mm -hmm. So here, what happens? The skip request comment, fine. Whatever command he has given, it will be coming over here. Oh God, it is not coming. So what I will do is I will now create one more item and then submit. Now, it's not lost actually. No, 100. I don't know how it has gone lost. You know, so let us now go there and then create one more item and then check it. Now, click on it because it will not do it in a very proper manner. Now, click on it. I will now click on create it. Now, right. NIR 110 will be done. 10 increment. Now, click on that. The G71 now. So it will be very proper. Now, fine. If you go here and there, what happens? It is not allowing you to what happens? I come back again. Now, click on it. Go there. So click on OK. Now, click on OK. And then go there. And then I will now say test two. Is that the description? I'm going to go there. So everything is not done. Fine, that. So click on submit. By which what happens? The NAR gets triggered actually. The NAR will be triggered now. Fine, that. So click on next now. Right? Click on next. And then here what happens? I'm going to say what happens? That, uh, NAR second. Second is the one. I'm going to say second NAR now. Right? Click on it. So the NAR number is what? 1010 now actually. Fine, that. So click on save and edit. And go there. Go to the next place now. Right? Click on it. Save and edit. And then there I will not submit for approval. I don't remember N80 actually, it's okay. <laughs> so click on it. So it will be going to EMP4 to be assigned now. If I click on the action log, click on submit. So click on submit. NIR110 is now getting submitted for approval. So you go there and then you will now monitor it. Now if I click on it, you go to the manage new item request and then you will now monitor NIR110. So NIR underscore 110. I go there, click on it. And then click on search. No searching for it. So once when you search for it, remove it now. Remove it. And then this is also status is what null and then what happens? I make a search and it will come. So go there. Click on the hyperlink of it and then go there. <clears throat> and then you go to the details now. Click on the details. So the workflow is still pending actually. The action log is also not submitted properly. Now let us now go to the what's called this thing. Fine. Let us now log out and log in. Fine. We'll be getting a notification actually. Sign out and sign in. Sign out and sign in now. So click on it. EMP4 will be getting a notification actually. Two notifications. One is it's not saying it's assigned. And the next one is what for approval. And there are two notifications there. So I will now click on the left hand side. What happens? I, don't, I will now go to the tools and then I go to the approvals. And then here we will now see whether it comes over here. Tools approval has to come now. Fine, it. it normally used to come here, it is not coming at all. I am not coming. I don't know why. So there is some mistake because the role has been given properly only. Fine, I, know it. I will now click on this now. I click on it. I will not take an action. I click on it. I will not take an action. So go the new request assigned now. I click on it. And then this is the one. It requires comment actually. Fine. Click on it. I will now give a comment actually. Fine, click on it. I will now give a comment now. Fine. What was it? Uh, create. Create the So he has now given a comment that, okay, uh, he has now seen everything. And then here, what was it? Go there. You will now go to the actions and save now. You will now give a comment and then give a save now. If I click on okay. And then after having given the comment, what was it? Go there. And then you will now give a save now. If I click on it. He has now given a save actually. What happened? Oh, God. So give a save now. Click on. So you give a save actually. And then afterwards, he has to give a okay also. So click on it. You know what happens? Go there. So once it is saved, I think what happens? It is now already gone actually. It is now saved actually. Saved. And then he has to give okay also. Fine. So that is not coming at all. Fine. The save itself is sufficient, I think. Fine. Probably save is sufficient. It's just assigned. Now click on it. Now we'll now come back to our system and then have a look at now. I click on it. So give a cancel. Now I click on it. And then what happens? Make a search. Now I click on search. And then go there. So click on it. So the comment will be coming over here. Fine. We'll go to the details. What happens? You cannot see the comment. Oh God, skip the question. So what you have to do is I think what I was instead of save or whatever I had to give a okay now. Fine. Oh God, so so sensitive one now. Fine. Click on it. So sensitive. Fine. Go so click on no have no status. Fine. Go it's not showing anything at all. Fine. Click on it. It's not showing me anything at all. So click on it. Fine. Click on it. So go to the tools. Then go to the approves. Fine. Up to also is not showing anything at all. So he has to give a comment and then instead of save, what happens? I will not give a okay now. Fine. Okay means what? I will not see whether it goes or not. Click on it. So that may be the reason of click on it. It's not coming out. I will not say save and close. 
And again, what I was a query for it. I will not go to the space and click on it. I will not click on it. No more. It has to come as what submitted for approval. And then the details, what happens, whatever comment he has written, what happens there, it will not be coming over here. The workflow status will not be there. No, thank God. So we cannot even re trigger it actually. Thank God. No, see whether we can re trigger it or not. Thank click on it. Open no. And then what happens, the good actions. And then what happens, I will not terminate the workflow. The workflow is not getting terminated. And then click on OK. And then we will not re trigger it actually. The workflow is not terminated actually. Thank God. Thank God. Restart the workflow. Thank click on the restart the workflow. We are not restarting it actually. <laughs> Restarted. Restarted. Thank you. The workflow is not restarted actually. It's not started. So the workflow has restarted actually. Thank you. I will not go there and then have a look at it. It's not coming about. Thank you. Log on and login. No, thank you. Sign out and sign in. So we are not restarting the workflow. It's a very sensitive one. So we must be very, very cautious in doing it. Thank you. We'll see whether the notification again comes over here. No, thank you. So the notification is not thank you. The workflow has got restarted actually. Click on it and then go to the tools and then go to the approval. So, I click on the approvals. Oh, it is not coming at all. The bell icon also is not coming. The bell also is going to show up. It has to show everything. Nothing is there actually. Assign to me. Click on assign to me. Zero actually. Click on the work list. If I click on the work list. The work list sometimes always will be coming. If I click on the work list and then have a look at it. So, go to the work list. Go there. So here, what I was, you know, see what I was to me assigned. Assigned on. Uh, go there, drop it down, and then what I was going there. Everything is there actually. New task. My task. I'm going to go to the my task and then have a look at the right my task. So internal errors are going to coming at all. Refreshing the task. Okay. Initiated task, administrative task. I'm going to go to the administrative task. It's not coming. The initiated task is not coming at all. Oh God. So click on it, it is not coming at all. So we will now continue on this tomorrow and then we will now see about how to do it actually. There is some problem there. So it's not coming at all. So as a last resort, what happens? I'll not create one more NIR and then do it. Now I click on it. So I'll not give a save and close. Now click on save and close. Let me get one more NIR and then see it. Now click on it. Now go there. So go to the product management and then product information management. This time I will not, what happens? Not give a save. I will not give a OK now. Okay? Click on it. So click on it. Click on the create now. And I'm going to give it. I'm going to say G71. Mm -hmm. G71. Go there. And then drop down and then choose our item class now. Okay? Item class is not chosen. Click on OK. I will now say test three. <clears throat> not doing enough. That. So go there. Click on it. I will click on submit now. Click on submit. So go there. Click on next. And then click on save and edit. Go there. I will now say what was that? Uh, N I R. I mean, ticket anyway, third one. So go there. Go to the save and edit. Go there, click on it. Everything is okay. So click on submit. So NIR 120 is now submitted for approval. So there, what I do is I will not go there and then I will not, instead of giving a save, I will not give a okay. No. I write a command and then give a okay. So that we will do it. So I will not go there, click on it. No log out and login. So NIR 120 will be coming. Fine. Click on sign out and then what I want to give a okay directly instead of saving now. Very sensitive one. Okay. So really, very difficult. Click on it. <coughs> so I will have two notifications to come now. Fine. Click on it. So those notifications come by, click on it and we'll see. So NAR has been assigned as come now. Right? Next is what the comment is required. The next one is what is the comment. So I'll now wait for it and click on it. So I'll now show that we need a comment now. Right? It's been assigned, try and sign out. And then you know, confirm and then come back now. Right? Click on it. So click on it. Click on it. No notification is done. Assigned has been done now. Right? So it's not coming. Click on it and then go to the tools and then put the approvals. The approvals it also is not coming. I don't know why it's so some problem somewhere. It also will be very clearly coming here. There, you have to click on the assign actually. Nothing is coming. So click on it. Here also, whatever now is coming. So click on it. 
no comment fine go there i will not click on this one no fine is a new one fine go there i will not click on it i will not give a comment no fine i will not simply give a comment i will not click on it i will not give a comment no fine i will not say okay okay and then instead of action i will not give a okay here there is a okay button here fine click on okay now fine click on okay i am not giving a okay actually so this comment has to go there now his comment has been fulfilled now fine click on it it is now rotating in the top line you can see it is rotating already so i think it has now accepted it and then it will be processing it actually 120 nar 120 will be processed actually so click on okay note give a save actually so click on okay this comment is required this guy has to give a comment actually the note coming coming very very sensitive <clears throat> So click on it. So the processing is now going on. Fine, you can now see something is going on actually. Okay, is now it is accepted as comments actually. You know, accept as comments. No, still going on. So once when the comment goes into the system back, then what happens? You will be able to see his comment also, and then then it will be submitted for approval actually. So once when the comment is sensed by the system, then what happens? It will be submitted for approval actually. It's still going on, going on. So let us hope that it, it gets completed actually. system to system it varies actually <clears throat> so the ok is now getting processed actually <clears throat> in the meantime what happens you know go to our system and then see whether the ok ok has been recorded or not in our system no go there so go there along go to the what fine click on it along go to the new item request manage new item request right? so nir 120 is the one i go there is the nir let's go 120 And then I will not make the status as null. And then here I will not remove the assigning. So click on search. Nobody make a search. So click on the hyperlink of it. Now I click on it. Now I will not go to the details. Okay, the okay, okay has to be registered. It is still coming in this one. It is not registered. It's still going on, going on. <laughs> I don't know why it's taking so much of my time now. Time to record it actually. So once when the recording is complete, then what happens? It will be coming up. Right? Uh, no, what happens? There? Pause the record for some. So let us now make a search again. Now, if I click on search again, I click on search, and then click on the hyperlink of it. Now, if I click on the hyperlink of it, and then here, what happens? You go to the action log straight away. If you go to the action log, what happens? You can now say comment posted has come. The comment has been posted as normal. So instead of saving, what happens? You have to give okay. Now it has been submitted for approval. Actually. It has been submitted for approval, and then what happens? The promoted top rule straight away. So give a okay. Uh, not the save actually. If I save is the wrong one, fine. No submit proper work. No submit proper work. Go there. So now if you go on and test your system, no, fine. Click on it. You will not go to the item, no, fine. Click on it. You will not go to the place, fine. Click on it. You will not go on and have a look at the item. You go to the product management, product information management. Go there. So what is the new item, fine? Item is what? You will not go there. Put the overview of it down. So you will not. The last item actually. Go there. The last item, fine. G seventy one zero three zero actually. You will not go there. Click on it. You will not go on and query it, no, fine. Click on it. You will not go to the what? Browse items, fine. Go to the browse items and then query it. Browse items. You go to the browse items. Fine, go there. I will not say G seventy one underscore one zero three zero is the one. Fine, make a search. No, fine, click on search. And then you can now see that it is now progressing on the workflow. Fine, right? click on. So click on it. Click on the hyperlink. Now you can see that it has been new item request is an approval. It is an approval. So approval is automatic actually. Fine, NIR one twenty is now approval. So once when the approval gets completed, what happens? You know, say you know that if you go to the what happens? You go there. Give a cancel. Then what happens? Give it done. And then come on. Then come on. You know, submit it for approval. No, fine, click on that. And then again, re-query it. No, fine, click on it. Re-query. Fine, click on search. No, fine, re-query it. And then go there. It's coming. Fine, click on it. Go there. And then here, what happens? You go to the action log. What happens? Submit for approval. So it's not like approval requested, and then what happens? It will be getting processed. So once with the approval request, fine, go there. I will not go there. There's no refresh icon at all. No, fine, give a cancel and then re-query it. Actually. New item request is an approval. Then afterwards, what happens? It will be scheduled, and then it will be getting completed. And all the activity will be going one after the other. Actually, so the saving was wrong. Actually, fine, click on it. Has to be give a okay. No, fine, click on. So go there. Go there. <laughs> Go there, click on it. You know, click on the action. Click on it. It will be scheduled. Fine. New time request. Fine. Go there. It is an approval only. You know, showing only still approval now. <clears throat> In this place, whatever they go there. So it will go on all the activities. Will keep on going. <coughs> click on done. <coughs> And then click on search. No, fine. Click on search. <coughs> so the EMP four has to give a nod for creating the item actually. No, go there. Go there. Go there. So go there. And then go to the details. No, fine. Click on the details. <coughs> The details, what happens? All these things. Now, what happens? If no waiting at the approval, fine. This has got tick mark now, fine. Now approval is not remaining. So after the approval is there, it will be going to schedule, and then after schedule, it will be getting completed. So one after the other, the activity has to get complete now, fine. Go to the browse items and then give a cancel. Fine. Since it is for the first time you are doing it, what happens? You are not taking his own time actually. Otherwise, once when the workflows are triggered very frequently, it will be going fast time. 
So click on it. So the item request is not approved actually. So, the, the point. so click on demo. <clears throat> and then click on search again. And click on search again. And then click on the hyperlink of it. And then go there. And then go to the action log, submit it properly. And then it will be scheduled actually. Next is what? Automatically approved. This is now saying what? It is now automatically approved now. So automatic approved. Approved with the system. Approved with the application. So automatic approval has happened actually. Right? Now it will now be progressed to what? Scheduled actually. If you go to the browser items and then give a cancel of it, it will be scheduled actually. It will be scheduled. Click on it. So click on search of it. Once the approval is completed, what happens? It will be going to schedule. And then afterwards it will be getting completed actually. So one after the other, every activity will be coming from the There's no scheduling. There's no, there's no schedule. So there's no schedule. And then afterwards it will be getting completed actually. If you go here also, what happens if you go to the action log file, give it done and then come out again. Automatically upload is the file. So click on search log file and then go there, click on it. Now, you can, even in the NIR also, you can see the status of schedule. Now it is a got uploaded. Status of schedule only. Status of schedule. If you go to the details, now click on it. Now the workload got a tick mark on the approval also. Fine. Scheduled also, you got a tick mark. And then finally, when the complete is coming, there also you'll be getting a tick mark actually. It is a workload status. The date and time is also coming. When it has got approved now, fine, go to that. So go there. The status is scheduled only. Fine, go to the action log. <coughs> And have a look at it. so it's no schedule and then what happens item effective effective on approval fine you know the, you know, the comment actually item items effective on approval actually on a on approval fine that will be once when it is completed whatever they'll be going to complete it also so go there so click on done and then go there and then require it now click on search and then require it now no click on it status is completed now the status is now come to complete now fine there is the last status of it thank you on the status now fine you know see the status is not completed so you can also see we completed now what happened the tick mark also will be coming on the and they go to the action log what happened that will be getting completed so promoted to completed actually. so no promoted completed so it's all done now and then you go to the browse items and then query for it what happens it will be active now going completed and then the status will become active so once when it is active you can very well put it on the requisition purchase order sales orders you have to accept it now go that one and then click on the hyperlink of it and click on it and then go there it is now approved maybe approved will be the last status actually yeah, approved is the last day of it. Complete in is approved. So this completes an automatic approval with a nod by GMP4 actually. Is it clear? Anybody has got any doubts? Can you say that you understood it? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. It is very difficult, huh? <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you have to what happens? Uh, follow it very exactly. Fine. After giving a uh, comment, you don't give a save, but you give a okay. Now, fine. There is a mistake I made now. That is where what happens is not happening. All these things. Give a comment. So the GMP GMP4 is now permitting you to create the item. Actually, after he permits, what happens? It has been submitted for automatic approval, and then it's coming. Okay. Okay, sir. Bye. Okay, sir. Bye. Bye. We'll meet tomorrow. Yeah, we'll not meet tomorrow. We'll not meet tomorrow. Bye. 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 B